All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another mod showcase. Today we are doing the FTL Multiverse mod. A ton of people have been wanting me to play this. And I've actually had a, my on it, eye on it for a little while. It looks super cool. It's actually, unironically, the closest thing we'll probably ever get to FTL 2. There is a staggering amount of new content. There are new alien races. There are a ton of new ships, a ton of new events. The entire game is completely overhauled. And it looks really, really cool. So let's just get into it. Um, the menu is absolutely crazy. I think I, I have played an earlier version of this a really long time ago, so I don't really remember anything about it. But um, as you can see, so we got A, B, and Cs for some of these, but then one out of 11, what? Oh my God, do you see all these ships you can unlock? This is, it's insane. Now we are just gonna be playing with this one, the MEV-145, which is kind of like a updated Kestrel, it looks like. It's got dual lasers, okay. We're used to this one. Pierce laser one, it fires two laser shots that can pierce one shield layer each. Okay, so they cost two power, 13 second charge. Um, normal damage one and shield pierce. So these are just, this is super good then, right? Wow, okay, that sounds pretty good. Does it do, no, it looks like it does whole damage. Maybe it doesn't do system damage. All right, it seems super good. We have a human. A Separatist NG, so not a regular NG, apparently. Uh, the Separatist NG have broken free from the control of the Harmony, a widespread program that controls the NG and encourages sameness. Active ability, it, oh, it is an active ability, what the hell? It can toggle to Nanite mode, where it ignores doors and becomes damage resistant, but cannot fight or repair. Okay. So if you need to get him across the ship really quickly, you can do that. Just go through doors, or your doors are broken, or you're hacked. I don't know. Sounds interesting. They do not as... Okay, so they're not 0.5 combat damage less. They're actually 0.75, so they're a little bit less bad. And they have better repair speed, but not as good as a normal NG, I guess, at 1.75. And they take less suffocation damage. Okay, wow. So this is like a different NG variant. This guy... Okay, so humans are changed too. They have resilience and de determination makes them take less damage from the environment. Very interesting. That kind of makes humans a little bit more interesting. I kind of like that. And then, bruh, <laughs> what is Cadriel? An orchid. These floral life forms have little in common with earth plants, but can replenish oxygen. They're opposite Lanius, huh? Refills oxygen. It does not work on ships without no two system. Uh, so I guess there's. Do you can play as drones? Weird. Take twice as much damage from fire and puts them out at half speed. That makes sense. That's really cool. That's like a interesting new race. Okay. He looks funky. Look at him. We also have advanced navigator. So this, these augmentations will have no effects with the following augment. Installed long-range scanners. Uh, allows the ship to jump to any previously visited beacon and reveals details about surrounding beacons. So it's advanced scanners and uh, advanced FTL nav navigation in one. So AKA it's just super good. And we start with it. That's huge. Wow, this ship is powerful. That makes me think that the game is going to be <laughs> insanely hard. Okay. You can also put seeds in. I did notice that. Not going to be doing that. Actually, let's do it. Let's put in, if you guys want to follow along, um, never mind. It, it won't let me type anything. Oops. <laughs> Wait, let me try that again. No. Okay. Well, I was going to put in a funny seed, but I guess that's, that's not the case. Uh, let's go on normal. Not hard. Okay. We're just going to get this going here. Let's see. Uh, I want to get cooler. This colors look ugly on these guys. Okay. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Oh, it's me. First name, Jack. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, let's get it going with the MEV-145 FTL hyperspace or uh, multiverse mod, sorry. Let's just get it going. You take a look at the distant swirls of space as the stars fly past. This is the beginning of the next chapter chapter in your saga. What will await you next? Wow, okay, so they give us a bunch. Oh, I see, we had nothing, really. So it gives us, this is probably based on the difficulty or something. Before your mission begins, it might be time to prepare before you arrive at the warp bay. What would you like to do? Configure your challenge level. So is there like a secondary difficulty? The mission debriefing again. That's probably just the lore. Proceed with... What is this? Ooh, okay, this is like a... Yeah, so casual, normal. Yeah, we'll just go with normal. That is cool that there's sandbox and stuff. Yeah, we'll definitely just go with normal. Confirm the decision. That's fine. So we... Okay. And... You're no ordinary ship, and this is no ordinary mission. You were born and raised in Universe Zero, a reality where a heroic Federation vessel triumphed over the Rebel flagship and ensured the Federation's victory. I guess that's base FTL. The Federation forces chased the Rebels out of Node 17, the Federation capital. Unfortunately, not every reality had a ship like this. 
The destruction of the flagship AI rendered all of the Rebel automated vessels completely unable to act on their own. In a desperate last-ditch distraction, the Rebels gave one last command to all of their auto ships to go on a kamikaze run directly into any nearby Federation ships. This resulted in a horribly bloody massacre, and Admiral Vance the Rebel fleet escaped unharmed. Oh baby, sorry. <laughs> this is some lore. The massacre of Node 17 remained the last major battle of the Federation Civil War. The Rebel forces were crippled, and the Federation quickly retook Universe Zero. This peace would not last when a Rebel salvage operation stumbled across a startling piece of technology, a strange black cubicle vessel containing what would soon be known as the first multiverse drive. This was the beginning of something very, very bad. The Rebels began the construction of a brand new fleet of ships wielding the power of the multiverse tech, which granted them the capability of traversing other realities. Many of such places were still in the midst of the same civil war that Universe Zero Rebels had lost. This was the chance for revenge. The new Rebel fleets over, or fleet overtook these realities with brutal efficiency, slaughtering the Federation forces and establishing a new galactic order in every single one they came across. Naturally, it was one, only a matter of time until the Federation of Universe Zero caught wind of this. They captured and reverse engineered the Rebel Multiverse tech and built their own fleet. Many others, whether they be civilians, pirates, aliens, or some other group, also obtained multiverse drives and installed them on their ships. You were piloting one of these ships. Now that the line between realities has been blurred, it's impossible to truly tell how long this new endless war has been going on for. The Rebels and Federation compete head-on, invading new realities and trying to sway the ongoing civil war to their side. It is your task to hunt down the multiverse flagship. The Rebels have dispatched this reality and destroy it before it can defeat this reality's Federation. Good luck, Captain Spearmints. Alright, mission briefing over. So let's proceed with our mission. Okay, so this is... Is this like the sector we're in? Federation multiverse drop point, type friendly, unique, true. Okay. Dominant faction, the Federation. Rebel threat level, medium. It's a neutral fleet. You're about to arrive at the nearest Federation warp bay. These hangar-like structures act as beacons of sorts for traveling between multiverses. Let's hope you're given a nice warm welcome and not greeted by a fleet of angry rebels or pirates. Right? You slowly exit hyperspeed, transitioning to a speed safer landing, and steer closer to the hangar below. There, your ship is stocked up and prepped to head out in this foreign galaxy. Whoa! This is badass. <laughs> okay, you heard of your ship, but realize you still have a little time before you leave. So we can grab a weapon, a crew, some resources, or just nothing. We'll probably grab something. I think I'm going to take a crew member. I think getting... Well, no, I think I just take the resources. 20 scraps not a lot, and I'd kind of like to... Okay, well, we only got seven. With some extra resources in your storage, you prepare to continue on your mission. Um comes an immediate threat so you can spare some time to do something i mean we'll see what we can do talk to your crew perform a task let's look for our ng look for them talk to them separate just begins to speak to you in binary you play with your translator trying to make sure you're on the correct settings until you realize this is literally just spewing numbers okay well that's the stuff we can do at empty jumps i guess here we are we're finally in the game this uh, i'm going to be reading more stuff than i usually do in ftl because this is just insanely different obviously but wow this is super cool in the hangar like this so we've got our dual lasers, our pierce laser, like this, okay. Pretty basic here. Yeah, Rebecca has her nano ability. All right, well, let's get going here, I guess. Um, ooh, look at the background. This is pretty sexy. It. I should note, with this mod, it comes with a... T it's like a big package. So this is not the... If you do install this, you don't need the extended pursuit indicator or, like, fancy planets, backgrounds, whatever, because it comes with this, which is awesome. So I can't help but notice there is a merchant marked, not a store, and some supplies. So let's go to the merchant first. We don't have a lot of money, but I, I want to see what, what's happening here. Look at these backgrounds. What the hell is this thing? Oh my god, he's got freaking five layer shield and his ultan shield and more health than I've ever seen in my entire goddamn life. I assume you're not supposed to fight this guy. Stranger, stranger, I'm Sylvan. An honest traveling merchant. Perhaps you haven't we haven't met yet. I tend to forget. I've traveled the realities vast, and I've seen much the multiverse has to offer. Maybe we can do some business. I have a gift for you as well, if that might persuade you. Nice, thanks. So we can see what he's offering. We can sell some resources first. We can attack. We'll not be attacking. We'll see what he's offering, I guess. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, we can't afford anything. So this is like... I assume this doesn't replace the regular stores. This is just like a go-to store that has random stuff. I would love to buy this, by the way, but... It's just not possible. Decline, I guess. Eh, okay, so that's it. Cool. Well, that's nice. Damn, that's a pretty cool looking ship. I really like the colors on the Kestrel knockoff, whatever you want to call it. Okay, well, let's continue. We, I guess we'll hit the supply. We'll just see what's up. We're learning here, you know. See what's happening. Not surprised to see this beacon has been outfitted with a multiverse supply depot. Many such beacons were constructed by prior multiverse travelers to help repair ships such as yours. Brief scan of your ID is all it takes until a Federation auto ship is dispatched to transfer over some supplies. 
Nice. And we could do something on board again, but I think we do nothing. We got some goodies. Hell yeah. I forgot. We already have advanced scanner or whatever. So let's hit this up. Let's try to get in some combat, see what's happening. Oh, look at this planet. What the devil? Okay. I don't know how I feel about this background. It's a bit complicated, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. Another uh, unmanned ship patrols this area. You prepare the ship for combat. You, has, uh, you get ready to prepare for combat. What do you want to do? Last minute checkups? Okay. Oh, so you can... Oh, that's really, really cool. You can do, like, last minute things. We can get one hole point if we're, like, about to die or something for some scrap. We can get a missile. Okay, well, I'm not going to actually do anything because I don't care, but that's really cool. You're, like, low on missiles. So they have cloaking. They have... I guess a heavy laser and then a mini mini beam. I don't know. It looks similar. Oh, it was like a like a <laughs> quick burst beam or something. All right, well, let's just get this on their weapons, I suppose, and the pierce laser on piloting. I don't really care about their cloaking that much. Okay, we took damage from that beam. It's fine. Boom, boom. Okay, we took their weapons mostly down. Ooh, the sounds on that. Yeah, wow, this, this thing... I mean, they don't have shields, but if it really pierces shields like that, this is huge. This thing's amazing. Let's go like this. Well, go like this, and then... Uh, just keep going weapons, I guess. Interesting. So this is like a literally a laser beam. Oh. They cloaked in time. Oh, well. It's a good little test first combat here. Switch this up like that. Pew, pew. Very cool. You detect high energy signatures in the auto ship's engines. It must be trying to escape. This is an automated message. You were to cease attacking this auto drone and return it will dispense fuel. So, drones have surrender options now. Uh, I don't want one fuel, so I'm gonna just blow you up. It's cool that there's some different, like, room layouts. It's actually very cool. I'm really excited. This So far, this feels like a complete overhaul of FTL. Really cool. Like, at Captain's Edition is awesome as well, but it feels like it's FTL with, like, extra content. This feels like, this does really feel like FTL too. I mean, we're pretty early in, obviously, but, you know, I, we should probably try to hit the supplies, huh? Free stuff. Guaranteed good event. You come out of the jump to see laser blasts coming from the other side of the beacon. It looks like someone is under attack from pirates. I don't know. I, I'm just going to raid everything, even if they're old events, you know? So we'll, we'll definitely aid the civilian ship here. Okay, you power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. Boom. You're ready to prepare for combat. What do you want to do? Yeah, we're not going to do anything. We'll probably do nothing most of the time. So we, I guess we should just let our pierce laser come in first. We are going to get hit by this missile launcher, I guess. Don't think there's much we can do about that. Okay, it's coming for an empty room. Oh my god, it, we actually shot it out of the air. Wow, it's pretty awesome. Well, we can do that now. Worked pretty well, <laughs> all things considered. As long as we take that uh, missile launcher down, we're good. We're going to hold off on the dual lasers, get the pierce laser to take their shield down a bit more. There we go, we got a breach in there. This ship is pretty much toasted. Okay. So I'm not sure how the meta works. We have kind of 54, so I could get the level 2 shields, which seems like a pretty good idea, especially because this is a very quote-unquote normal ship. Nothing too gimmicky. Uh, also, some ships don't have gibs, it would seem like. It kind of just disappeared, but the mod's not mod, not done yet, so. 14 in the repair 2 hole points. Okay, sure. So hit the supply, and then I guess come this way. Let's, well, let's hit the supply, and then we'll maybe make the shields upgrades. It's always a good play, in base FTL, at least. Nice. And, oh, little remains of the supply depot other than a small helping of scrap. A mantis hunter approaches menacingly, their weapons humming with power but not firing yet. Let's attack them. We're not going to do anything here. So they're boarding us. Interesting. This is a ver First of all, it's a very cool mantis ship looking. They have only an ion stunner, but they did board us somewhere in the med bay. That's pretty okay, actually. Let's get the plant in here. <laughs> and we don't really need to dodge, I guess. So we'll do that. And, yeah, we'll just do something like this. Okay, plant's doing all right. Not bad. This can go here, I guess. Okay, well, we kind of missed, whatever. Dun, 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 dun. I think there's a ton of new races, more than just this guy. So I'm really interested to see what else we got. Um, This can probably go piloting now. He beamed back, okay, it's fine. Okay, engine's going again. Probably going to be able to finish him off here. Oh, never mind. I kind of timed that poorly. Oh, no, no, we're good. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. 
You've just avenged hundreds of innocent people by destroying this ship. Nice. There's a ship there. Yeah, let's just do this. Oh, look at this, too. It shows... That's really cool. Okay. And that actually... This is unrelated, but... We just played the Zoltan Sea on the channel. I think the whole first row costs 30, but no ship ever has a power deficit that bad other than Zoltan Sea. So that's really interesting that it's just always cost 30. That's really cool. I mean, that might not be the case, but that's kind of what I'm... The impression I get. We don't quite have enough to get all the power, but that's okay. We can move some stuff around if we need more shields. Okay, what else we got? Wow, this nice background. What the hell? Pirate vessel. This is a huge ship. <laughs> Pirate hails you. Ah, a fellow traveler. I'm sure we can both relate over the difficulty of upkeep with these MV drives. Yes? Well, we've been running low on fuel, and I'm sure you could use an upgrade. Maybe we can trade. Buy an engine upgrade for three fuel. Dude, honestly, yeah, sure. I'll take it. It's not so bad. I mean, fuel, if we get enough drops for it, then whatever. What else we got? Uh, Okay, so it's a pirate. Right. We're not going to be paying that. We also cannot. They have very little amount of HP. In fact, I don't know if I've ever seen a ship with 5 HP. But that's okay. Do this. Might as well put it in the engine for now, I guess. Okay. Bum, bum. But, uh, um, and then we'll do this. Okay, they bombed in an empty room. They're still charging, which is not great, but we could probably take them out here if we get lucky. I'm liking so far that, although, oh my god, they almost actually ran away. Although it, it seems a little bit more difficult just because I have to learn more. Oh my god, that's actually pretty huge. It doesn't feel like, let's just make it hard for the sake of it, you know? Which is, which is nice. I appreciate that, honestly. So the Flak 2, does it look different? Uh, doing up to 7 damage. I think it looks about the same. Didn't, didn't get changed around too much. Okay. I don't know if we'll be able to use that, at least not anytime soon. Store, okay. Let's see how these stores look different in this mod. Friendly Merchant greets you. Oh, nice. Uh, an energy vessel is docked nearby. They hail you, requesting to purchase additional drum parts. This is so cool. I always didn't hate, but I always was kind of annoyed in base FTL. If you had more drone parts or missiles than you needed, other than specific events, you just like, guess I'll just hoard these, right? The ability to sell these at stores kind of like this is really cool. I don't foresee us needing drone parts anytime soon, so I'm going to sell all 10. Okay, well, we don't need this. What the, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Preemptive flak. This shotgun weapon uses no power. Huh? What? Charges instantly and fires a burst of 10 flak cover. Oh, it can only be shot once per battle. What? That's so cool. That's actually really cool. Wow. Interesting. It, wow. So it's just like a... That seems really good. Like, obviously, only shooting it once per battle. But if you can get that off immediately, just to mess with the ship. It's like having a pre-igniter, pretty much, right? But just on this thing and only well yeah pretty much just like that that i kind of want to buy that i mean we don't have enough money but it doesn't even cost power what the hell i feel like how much does the this sell for 40 bucks what else we got we got a free mantis what is a free mantis the friendly free mantis have rebelled from the hive and now live their lives independent and addicted to their synthesized pheromones so they have an active ability as well. Temporarily greatly increases speed and damage. Wow, these things are probably insane on boarding. Okay, they don't have the two times ability. Like the, the base two times speed and attack though. They have more, 1.2 at times. So the it's kind of offset by the active ability. Interesting, that's really cool. I'm not going to buy them, but that's really, really cool. This, uh, this game mod adds a lot of really cool, interesting things. And then you're just a human. Okay. I think for the, for the mod's sake, for the... We gotta sell this. Who cares about a flak too when you can get the new pre-flak? And now it's just ready. Look at that. Absolutely insane. Hell yeah. Okay, that's really cool. Um, let's get a bit more power so I can get my shields going by doing this. Okay. Let's fight. Ooh, this is kind of... We can go one, two. One, two. This really can't reach, huh? That's kind of a bummer. Alright, we're just gonna skip this and see if there's anything else over here. I guess. I don't know. Do, do, do. Hail, if they need. 
Any wait, any help you could offer would be a lifesaver. We only just barely managed to chase away those damn rebels, and they'll no doubt be returning with reinforcements soon. We're undermanned, and we won't be able to get these repairs done in time. So we can offer to wait behind longer and fight off the rebels. So I guess this is maybe like the fleet advances, but we don't, right? And then we can fight them, or we could just lend a crew member to stick. That's to just, just do we just eat a crew member then? I don't think I like that. I don't think I like either of these. I would do this, but we're pretty close to the fleet right now, so I think I'm just... We can't help. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go Distress and then to the exit. I'm not going to play anything too risky since we're pretty new to this mod. It's a cool planet. Your shots are fired. A trap. Okay, well, we'll do nothing here. So, do we just fire... I guess we just fire this. Like, I, I was going to wait to get the lasers, but I think, honestly... Like, just doing... Dude... This could kill them, because they have 7 HP that shoots 10 projectiles. Oh. oh my god. We will not do that. Oh my god, we actually just one-shot them. What the hell? That's freaking insane. That's broken, dude. Wow. That's really cool. Store and distress. Okay, we gotta go here, dude. We're gonna die, but like, we have to see what's happening. I guess this is like you save the store, maybe, right? Dude, this thing is so freaking insane. A rebel ship is ass assaulting a small black market. Perhaps if you can rescue them, they'll sell to you. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Do nothing. Okay, we cannot one-shot them, but can do some damage, probably. Dude, wait, this is so insanely broken. Holy Christ. I feel like I just got super-duper lucky to find this. Wow. It was 65 scrap. It's obviously balanced by the fact that you can only use it once per match or per battle. So, but still, okay. The Falcata is a Falcata beam. Or, yeah, Falcata, I guess. I don't know. A short beam not known for its power, but rather its usefulness in taking out systems. So it takes one power, 10 seconds. Does not do damage to the ship. But it does system damage. So it... I mean, that seems... Not, I don't want to say bad, but... Not that good. Like, the whole point of a beam is kind of to do a bunch of spread damage. Plus, this thing I, I can almost guarantee is very small. Like, it says a short beam. It's probably like a mini beam, if not shorter. I mean, focus system damage is definitely good, but, like, that seems not that good. Eris is a missile. Okay. A modified missile weapon that ex that's extra blunt with a high chance to breach and stun. And stuns. Oh, it just always stuns. Okay. So it takes two power, 12 seconds to charge. Yeah, it takes a missile. Two damage. Okay, not bad. Shield piercing, 10. Oh, so yeah, it just pierces all shields. And 60% breach chance is pretty damn high, not gonna lie. And of course, it stuns. Well, okay, interesting. This looks like the normal breach bomb, I think. Okay. So we have fuel conserver. Hyper-efficient fuel conservation mixed with a bit of science mumbo-jumbo. Not only lets you conserve the fuel used with a sector jump, but also generates another fuel cell as well. Still requires you to have at least one fuel to make this ju the jump first. Wait, what? Let's you conserve. Oh, I see. So you don't take use fuel to jump to the next sector. Okay, that that's not that good. Then I thought for a second I was like, wait, so you don't ever use fuel to jump ever? But I think it's just when you jump to a new sector, it doesn't use that fuel, and then you actually get a plus one. Which is like, okay, I guess. And then fuel crate. Can be open to empty beacons, can contain anywhere from 5 to 10 fuel. It has loot boxes. Hell yeah. Okay, that's kind of cool. So it's like, you can just buy it now if you have a ton of money. And if we get low on fuel, we can pop it open. That's pretty cool. Not sure I'd really want to buy it necessarily, but... Okay, oh, this is a regular NG. Um, they look normal. They have 90 max health. They have less health. Interesting. Not a lot less, but a little bit less. Okay, well, I think we're good here. I just kind of wanted to see what was happening. So we're going to have to dive. I think getting some power could be helpful, so we can actually do this. With this super-duper OPS flak, we might be a little bit better off. Whoa! Dude, did you see that ship back there? That looked badass. Whole, like, uh, cruiser-looking thing. So we'll do nothing again. They have a combat drone. Looks a little different. Burst laser mark two and that static stack attack beam, whatever it was called. So I guess we just launched this, huh? Damn, sucks for you guys. <laughs> we will shoot them. 
while we can. Because I would like to not take too much damage here. Their drone's down. Okay, we took some damage on doors. I don't really care. The Pierce laser will take them out. ASB's coming. We're probably going to... Oh, quick. No, this needs to come in quickly. Oh, baby. We barely got that. Okay, they pierced O2, which is not good. You come fix this quickly. We got the one fuel. Absolutely. Dude, yeah. Wait, I'm just pausing it. Actually, I'm not going to pause it. These things look so dope. There's this one looks different, too. Hell yeah. All right, get me out of here. That was pretty okay. What are we looking at here? So, nebulous parts. Okay. Or a mantis turf. Mantis turf, huh? Well, we have the scanners, so let's go to the nebulous parts, I think. Sounds more interesting than mantis turf. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Okay. While in hyperspeed, you have several options. You can proceed to your next sector or do something aboard the ship. So we can learn about the Atlas, updated 4.8. I think that's like the mod version. It means they updated the lore. I mean, we can. It's probably going to be mad long. All right, well, you guys can figure out the lore yourself if you want to play the mod. I am interested in it, but for the sake of the video, I'm not going to do another essay of reading. Okay, so we're in the nebula sector. A nebula sector. It's unmapped nebula, unique, false. I think... you. I think that just means, like, the first sector is, like, always the same. It's, like, the special federation sector you start in, so it's a true unique. I think this is just a random one you could find. There is no dominant faction. Interesting. Rebel threat level is medium-low. This sector remains uncolonized and largely unmapped. There's no saying what you might find here, and the Atlas provides a little more info. Okay, Nebula Ridge Sector. And you glance nervously at the sector map. Though the rebels will struggle to track you here, it seems the location of the exit beacon was never specified. You'll have to do some exploring until you're adjacent to it. Wow, that's really interesting. That's really... Ooh, excuse me. Really interesting. Jesus, I mean, it's probably over here somewhere, right? I would imagine. Watch it be like... Oops. Watch uh, the exit beacon be like right here or <laughs> in some dumbass spot. It's probably over here. So I think we... We go one, two, three, four, and then this way... That way we can see these and then come down here. I think we stay up high. Yeah, I think that's a better play. Okay. It's good. Be nice if you guys could fix all this up. The music, though. They got custom music, huh? Spooky sounding. Okay. I haven't used Rebecca. I guess we should see. Let's see the Nano. Okay, so it gets all blurry. Sure enough, doesn't go through doors. Doesn't go through walls, which makes sense, I guess. Can't fix anything. So I guess we'll just go solid again. I actually realized they didn't even realize they have new icons here. Is there anything else I missed? I mean, yeah, I know I did notice. I didn't point it out. The whole bar is like smooth, if you want to call it, but it has the number here. All right, let's continue. Going for about 30 minutes here. I don't know how far we're going to get. I'm just going to play pretty much until we die, I think. Let's just head up here, see what we find. Danger. You spot a rebel ship in the nebula and stay off their radar. We will try to track them as you move in, yeah. As soon as they see you, they make a run for it. You squeeze what you can out of the malfunction sensors and are able to keep track of them long enough to get in firing range. Okay. We're going to do nothing. So they're they're not actually trying to run. Just do this again, I think. <laughs> That's so, so dummy powerful. I love it. I actually love it. And we'll just do something like this, I guess. To take them out. Nice. That was easy. We're speed running this. Okay, we got some stuff. Nice. Okay. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationary. Small. Yeah, this is a classic event. We will attack them. They have mind control. We will do nothing. We will then immediately fire this because mind control is not something I'm big on. Okay, we took it down enough, and then we can just do this to finish them off. Actually, well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. But whatever. Stop that in time. Oh, the misses. Whatever, we'll be all right. Things are going pretty well, to be honest. Like I said, I, I like that it's not just oh, DAE hard game, haha. <laughs> it's kind of like a little bit more nuanced and actually has some interesting content and like a good level curve or balance curve for the sectors. I'm on, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on board for it, you know. Okay, universally glance. Yeah, there's. I mean, we could, now I guess there's nothing, so we could do something. Let's uh, perform a task. We could lay a trap, run a salvage mission. You may be able to salvage any space junk. 
randomly assorted team will only be able to do this once per sector. Yeah, might as well. What? Should have been doing this before. Decent amount of salvage. Nice. We got a manager drone. What? Controllable. Can man... Oh, that's so cool. Can man systems on your ship as if it had level 2 skills. Provides an additional bar of power to the current system. Whoa. And it doesn't even require power. But we do need a drone part and a drone bay, obviously. Our drone system. That seems pretty good. Holy shit. A free thing. It probably doesn't break if it's like the system repair drone. So it just kind of stays out. It's pretty much like a crew. Which is something, now that I'm thinking about it, how is that not in base FTL? That seems like a drone that is a crew member. It's very cool. Hell yeah. And it gives us the Zoltan power. I mean, if I get a drone system, I'll for surely use that. Seems super dope. Okay, there's a store. I think we go down and then up to the store. We have quite a bit of money, but I want to get maybe one more event here. See what we got. A rebel ship hails you. But you don't take chances in conditions. All right. So I got a missile launcher. Probably just going to say no. Didn't take their shields down because it's an aim for them, but their weapons are all the way down. Dude, this is not even... It's going to get slightly worse as the enemies get more shields, but it shoots 10 projectiles. Are you kidding me? That's enough to take down like every layer of shields that these, these things would have. All right, we'll do this then. Like, this is still going to be amazing into the late game. Every single ship is going to get massively punished by us having this thing. Uh, actually, I'd like to keep doing that, but do this. Okay, well, it already... Whatever. They're dead. They're dead. 23 scrap. Nice. Distress not. I, I want to go up, because I'm worried the exit beacon might be up here somewhere. It's really, really interesting, actually. All right, we have a decent amount of money. Oh, wait. A rebel ship is resting nearby making some minor repairs on their hull they don't seem to notice you well nice it, it's cool that there's it well it's like a <laughs> you know good and bad that stores aren't just completely safe anymore i mean i guess we could have ignored this guy but like there's actually stuff here now so they're not completely not that stores were really useless right but like if you went to them you didn't get anything other than what the store offered you so this is this is interesting oh we get to go first though interesting what okay lexi phantom these mysterious gas beings are not really the undead, though they possess strange characteristics like the supernatural. They are immune to suffocation, fires, and ignores doors. So they're pretty much ghosts, like it says. Max health reduced to 80, but does two times sabotage damage, so it like hurts systems faster, but not crew, I guess. I guess that's what sabotage means. It's pretty interesting, actually. Huh. That's really interesting. And then shells. What even is this thing? Is it supposed to... Distant cousins to the slugs. The shells... Oh, they're like snails, I guess. Possess unique explosive characteristics, but have a heavy reliance on oxygen. What? <laughs> Takes double damage from asphyxiation. Okay, so they can't be with no O2. Takes 90% damage in... Wait. Oh, okay. I mean, That means they take less damage in combat. I was very confused. I thought that meant they... Yeah, okay, I'm an idiot. So they have a shell, right? Active ability. Combusts violently, taking heavy self-damage and damaging all nearby crew and systems. So you can just nuke themselves. What? And they slowly regenerate health. Interesting. That's really interesting. Kind of want to buy one for the mod's purpose, but I don't think I'm actually going to buy one. That's really interesting, though. Some cool strategies you could do with that. So small bomb. Okay, we know that. Light laser mark 2. Very fast charging weapon that does a single point of damage, but no system or crew damage. Has a decent breach chance. Faster than the Mark 1. Interesting. Okay, so it takes 2 power, 2.2 seconds charge. Well, that's insanely quick. Breach chance system damage. So it doesn't hurt systems, and it doesn't hurt crew, but it does hold damage. And it shoots super quickly. That's that's decent. That's interesting. Not going to buy it again. And then Ion Flak, first of all, the art looks badass. That looks sick. Electrified flat gun. Three projectiles that are supercharged and do one additional ion damage. Okay, so, I mean, that's kind of, I assumed what it was. <laughs> ion flak. Um, that's really cool. Wow. I, I feel like, well, I guess that is pretty good. It's also three power. Oh, the music? The music? The, what the hell? Uh, what's on page two? Antivirus module. Though ineffective against enemy hacking systems, performs well against enemy satellites or malicious viruses. What? <laughs> Enemy satellites? Does that mean, like, drones? 
malicious viruses? I mean, there's the virus event, but like, are there more? I don't know. Damn, this music's kind of a banger. Okay, repair bot dispersal. These nanobots take ship parts to dislodge from hostile vessels and convert it to metal to repair your hull. Repair your hull. More power means more bots are available to convert enemy parts. So it's kind of like it's like a the repair augment, I guess. I don't know if that it, it's different. So I don't know if that's good or if it's still bad. Decoy buoys. Allows you to deploy buoys during jump speed. It can give one fleet delay for free or deploy. Okay, cool. So it's like the, you know, delay one from base FTL, but I guess you can choose to drop more stuff using drone parts. Pretty interesting, actually. And then these three were used to, it seems like. Is there anything different about them? Yo, whoa, you can actually upgrade things to level four here. Jesus. Interesting. That's really cool. We're not going to be buying that, obviously. Well, I don't know. Do we buy anything? I don't think we really do. I don't want to sell this just yet because I might want to... They didn't have, have drones. Hmm. I feel pretty okay. I think we'd just make some upgrades to our ship here. Oh, I forgot we were fighting. I completely forgot we were fighting this thing. Okay, just do... I kind of want to take their... Well, this might kill them, actually, depending on how lucky we get. It did not, but the pierce laser will take them out. All right, you can come help fight, I guess. There we go. The, this thing is so powerful. We're actually this is speed run strats. Damn near. Let's get my kale to heal. All right, this is going very well. There's a lot. Uh, it's a lot less quick than I play normal FTL. There's just so much new stuff, so it's it's really cool to kind of get this fresh content, if you will. Okay, so a sun in a nebula? What? Well, we got to check that out, right? What does that even mean? Let's let's do some upgrades. We didn't buy anything from the store like we could have, but I, I didn't really know what to buy. So let's get some more power so we can do this. And honestly, just get another engine. So, we, oh, well, we have an extra power. Whatever. Just remember that next time. Let's hit the sun up here. We've got a crazy amount of dodge for this early, but I didn't really... Whoa, this is really cool looking. Wow. They have cloaking. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Our pre-flak doesn't charge. Makes sense, I guess. They have nine health. We could kill if we hit every single shot. Unlikely, but we will still fire this. Nope, not no surrenders here, please. This is going so well. Oh my god. I just I can't believe this pre flock I think it seems really overpowered. But I don't know, maybe I'm missing something or maybe we're just doing well here. Alright, get me out of here. Let's go up here and then down. I wanna go this way, to be honest, but I want I have to see if the exit beacon's up here. So I don't wanna get this is cool. On the edge of the nebula, there's like this. You're actually on the edge of the nebula with this this background. It's really, really cool. Clearing from the nebula, revealing more of the distant space. However, it appears a rebel ship has already arrived and is now approaching quickly. Okay, let's do nothing. Well, they have a garbage weapon set up, so let's just go straight for their shields. They're going to board us, though, probably. Just do this. Where are they? In the weapons. Okay, there's only one. Uh, You can come help, I guess. Get some combat XP on Jack the Plant. And she's actually not doing too bad because these ones aren't quite as weak as the other ones. Okay, just before the rebel ship explodes, an escape pod ejects from it. Unfortunately, it doesn't get too far before you collect it and bring it aboard. You open it and drag, drag out the rebel officer. They beg you to let them live. Accept him onto your ship. Oh my god. Wow, he really killed Jack, dude. What a dickhead. Damn, that was that was my plant. That's pretty unfortunate, not going to lie. It said accept him onto your ship. I, I don't know. Well, I don't know these events yet. Are right, you gonna win this? You got this, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> Imagine if I lost another crew there. Yikes! Well, that's a bummer. Probably should have bought a crew member at that store then. Oh well. We're learning, you know. Guess I should have used the context clues to know that a rebel crew member would maybe flip on us. Probably a probably a roll. Oh well, we'll be fine. We're just exploring. We're having fun here, learning the game. 
Come up this way. No nebula here. We'll hail them. You find a slow cruiser and a rock ship and a standoff both with weapon arm weapons armed and ready to fight. You can intervene before this gets out of hand. We'll do it. Oh, this is the rock debt event, yeah. Well, we're not gonna pay it for him, so let's demand it. Oh, this freaking asshole. <laughs> Alright, just do this. We definitely would like some more crew. I don't think we really need too many more weapons just yet. Once we get higher levels of shields, we can t you, we don't won't use the pretty flak immediately. We'll just wait to get our other weapons off. But for now, it's it's doing great work. Another store. Okay, this is actually pretty helpful. Let's definitely go here. We don't have too much stuff, but we will head straight. Well, actually, do something aboard the ship. Can we set like turn some of our missiles into form a task? I don't really want to do that. Okay, do nothing then. So we can buy a slug. Are they different? We're shunned in the Galactic Federation for their constant thievery and attempts at manipulation. Yep. They seem pretty normal. Probably, let's. Do you want to get this Phantom, maybe? It's only 40. I don't really, I kind of want to keep... Well, maybe we should sell it. We, let's get the Phantom. Just be, I don't really buy crew normally, but it, it, we're doing a mod here. We're learning. I want to see what they what they do. Steli, you go to engines now. What 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 are their what's their thing again? Right, they do sabotage damage, which I don't think is too helpful. They have less health, but they also don't take damage from fires or doors. Well, they don't. <laughs> nobody takes damage from doors, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's go down here then. Still looking for that exit beacon. We will do nothing. saved um just fire this i guess on their shields not really worried about these weapons too much. actually i don't know this is a burst heavy or something oh my god <laughs> look at this let their cries of terror go in vain oh my god trying to make guilt you here all right whatever just take them out easy actually genuinely easy not even ironically trolling okay there's the exit so i think we go one well maybe not. i don't know it's kind of unfortunate. I kind of assumed it'd be down here. We can go one, two. All right, just go here. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, a Federation ship is exploring the nebula. <laughs> Look at this. Why you built like that, bro? <laughs> this thing is the actual Chad Federation cruiser, bro. Look at that jawline. Federation ship is exploring the nebula here. A friendly face. It's dangerous to explore these nebulas without aid. It's not much, but here's a scanner. You may find use of it. Is this a what is this a weapon? Oh, it is a weapon. Wait, what? It doesn't do any. This weapon is not designed for combat, but rather can reveal rooms on either you or your enemy ships. What? That's so freaking cool. Like, it costs literally nothing. So if you have like an empty weapon slot, you can just. I mean, it obviously, it doesn't. Wait, wait. Does it? Hold up. Room. So I guess you do shoot it though, and it reveals that. We'll we'll test it out. We'll for sure test it out. That's so cool. Oh my god. These guys thought of a bunch of stuff that I just wouldn't have thought of. Let's get the exit beacon out of the sector once the FTL drive is ready. So we could explore, check the storage. I don't think we have anything in storage, so let's explore. Maybe no sound, but the flashing from deep in the nebula is just a battle, but you aren't sure by whom. Let's search. Two ships have seemed to destroy each other. This is fortunate for you because now you have two wrecks to salvage. Hell yeah, continue. Let's, uh, let's go to the next sector, I think. Um, let's see, we've gone for 43 minutes. I think I'm going to stop this video here. I'm going to keep playing, and I'm going to put the second part up. But since I don't know how long this is going to go, or how short it's going to go, um, I'm going to stop it here, just to kind of break it up, make a couple episodes here. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the quick first look at Multiverse Mod. Again, I'm going to just keep playing, put up the second part probably a couple days later. So if you're enjoying it, stay tuned. But so far, I'm really, really liking this. It's super interesting. It adds so much stuff. It's really... I know I clickbaited my Caps Edition video with like, oh, it's FTL2. This actually feels like FTL2. This is really, really cool. And we might have to make a bit more of a series out of it, definitely. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you are enjoying the videos. You know, I, I love seeing you guys comment and, and love FTL still. It's a great game. So this is an awesome awesome opportunity to to be able to do so thank you guys so much and make sure to check out the next video whenever i upload that
See you guys.